Well, finally getting around to this. So let's get this done. Welcome to Pull Addiction, where I like to do pull and billiards equipment reviews as well as anything pull and billiards related for that matter. And today I'm doing some upgrades and I figured I'm gonna do a video on something that I have, which is a new pull table light. But it's not just any pull table light. It's the Predator Arena light, which is sold through High Rock and is engineered by Lucid Ball Sports. So y'all may be asking, why change out my pull table light? It's a, it's a pretty nice light. Well, the lighting I currently have isn't great on color accuracy and the lighting's pretty harsh on the table when I'm filming. Also, it's really hard to control the intensity of the light and I actually have to use a dimmer switch on the light switch itself. But lastly, and the big reason why I'm doing this is for slow motion footage. You see, the electricity here in the US is distributed at 60 hertz. And 60 hertz isn't the greatest for filming at high film rates it'll give you this really nasty flicker effect with the lighting at those high rates. And as a result, I've been filming slow motion in my videos with a separate LED light that can handle these high uh, film rates without having any of the flicker effect. And the result hasn't been the greatest and the lighting just hasn't been really that great and I wanted to find something different. So I started researching and I came across this Predator Arena light which is rated for crazy high film rates without any flicker, as well as giving you the great light coverage over the table. And the color accuracy is really, really good, which means it won't be a nightmare to color grade the footage in post-production. Now the Predator Arena light has been designed for filming in mind, and that's the reason why it's so great for these, this purpose. Now, whether you're doing big time tournaments that are streamed online or televised, or you're doing what I'm doing, filming on YouTube, and you want really good lighting on your table, and you want to film in slow motion without any flicker effect, that's what this thing is for. Now, I understand not everyone is gonna be in wildly interested in an expensive pool table light, and that's why I'm not doing a crazy in-depth review of this light. So, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you the difference between the fluorescent style pool table light and the new Predator Arena light, and show you the differences. And yes, I paid for this out of my own money and I'm not affiliated in any way with Predator, High Rock, or Lucid Ball Sports. So, like I said, this video isn't a review necessarily. It's a installation and a before and after of the lighting. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this time-lapse installation followed by the before and after footage.
check out this light. And, and this is the dimmest setting it has, and you see how much it lights up this room. And I'm really gonna have to play around with my lighting here in the future to figure out the best uh, settings for the videos in the future. Okay, so this was a pretty easy install, and you do need a second set of hands, for, at least for using the plumb bob to figure out the mount points on the ceiling. All in all, it took about two and a half hours to install, and as far as the look and finish goes, it's really, really nice. However, the seams where they come together, uh, they don't fit together absolutely perfect, but they do give you some putty and some matte black tape to kind of give you a, a better finished overall look. And really, it isn't that bad at all. I purchased this one uh, with the adjustable light settings, and it's not just dimming that it does, it also does different temperature settings. So it gives you a lot of versatility in different lighting situations, and I'm really looking forward to working with that. Now, as you can see in the before and after footage, the lighting is a much better quality, and man, does it get bright. So, like I said in the beginning, I'm not really doing a review on this light, but if anyone wants to check anything, check out more on this light, I'll place the link in the description below. I'll also place some links to some videos on people that did uh, reviews on this light as well, so you can check them out as well. And thanks for making it to the end. And since you've made it this far, I got a little something for you. I have a special slow motion clip to give you a taste of what is to come on my future videos. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and let's get busy in that Tsunami Shaft Part 2 video. And I'll see y'all in that one.